Well, we've reached mid-August, and the Garden Show is going to continue on for the foreseeable future, but I tell you what is not in the foreseeable future right now is rain. Yeah, we're in the dog days of summer, as it were, and now it's really starting to dry up. Uh, we were three inches behind almost for the month of July. We still haven't had much in August, and then now the forecast is for the next seven days, basically no rain. So you're going to want to water everything. If you've got trees or shrubs that have been planted within the last three or four years, get out there and water those things. That was one of the questions we had today was about watering. And the lady had planted a new maple tree, and she would take the hose and put it on there for maybe five minutes once a week. But as I said to her, how big a hole did you dig when you planted the tree? Oh, probably about three foot by three foot. Well, how long does it take to fill that up with a garden hose? A long time. So you really need to turn your hose on about half speed and let it run for a half hour to an hour, and that would give it a good drink. Did it get an email and a picture about Arbor Vidae with uh, a brown spot on it and worry about uh, not having enough water, but it was actually getting water from something else? Yeah, it was probably most likely damage from either a cat or a dog that was urinating on it. Arborvitae especially, or, uh, dogs just love them for whatever reason. And if you have a cat in the neighborhood that's trying to mark its territory, they'll also urinate on them and it'll cause brown spots like that. We also got a picture in an email about uh, Norway spruce that actually got some bug damage. Yep. It had a pine tip shoot moth got in there and basically Basically it creates that shepherd's crook on the end of it and kills the leader off. So what you need to do is treat the tree with merit, which is a systemic insecticide that draws up into the tree and will kill the bug for next year. And then you want to train a new leader, leave that old dead part on there and take a twist tie and tie a new, new leader up so you have a nice straight trunk growing up. Well, it's going to be another dry week. Thankfully the temperatures will be right around 80 instead of 90. So what do we got to do this week? Good time to get out there and put down grass seed. Uh, if you haven't done your summer fertilizer, it's a good time to do that. You can use either a weed and feed or just a straight summer fertilizer. But if you want to put the grass seed down, don't do a weed and feed at the same time. So put down your grass seed, that'll sprout and you can put on a weed and feed in October. All right, sounds like a plan. We'll do it all again next week. All right, we'll see you then.